So let's just go ahead and talk about this film. Now, of course, we had the lead role uh, from the actor from Cobra Kai, who um, I think most people are watching this film because, well, we saw him from Cobra Kai, and he was he was a great he was a great actor for that show. I I really enjoyed watching him uh, in that show. And I was like, you know what? I could definitely see this guy in the future being in future film shows and all that stuff. So when we found out, hey, this guy's gonna be in Blue Beetle. What the hell, Nani? So you know, I think a little bit, me included, got a little bit of hype. I'm like, what? This guy is gonna be have his own superhero film. What? Like that could be good. Could be. <laughs> right? Could be. So the thing about Blue Beetle is, I think Blue Beetle, the project is more of, it, it seems like it's like a throwaway project. You guys know James Gunn taking over the DC uh, universe and, you know, we've had The Flash this year. We've had, um, what else did we have this year? Uh, Shazam this year. Uh, I think there's some, is there another DC movie that we had? We had a couple, uh, notice like a Superman TV show on HBO Max, we had that. Um, so next up would be that of, um, Blue Beetle, and, you know, just looking at the trailer, I was like, okay, this doesn't seem like a bad trailer, but I would say that, once again, another bad habit, oh, we had Shazam 2 as well, another bad habit for these recent trailers is that they show a lot of the good stuff in the trailer, and I do kind of feel like, at least with this film, that there's certain scenes in the trailer that were in there, I'm like, damn it, why do you have to add that in there? Um, I know you're trying to like attract people to the movie, get people to watch it, so you might kind of you know, spoil a couple of scenes here and there. But I think this movie, uh, because I think there's a lack of really like great moments, I don't think the, the trailer did it any justice. Um, so I'm not going to spoil too much, but you, if you guys seen the trailer, you know, it's not going to be a spoiler, right? When he gets to trans, when he does the transformation scene, I think it's one of the best scenes that I've seen in the movie uh, when I was watching it. I like it because it wasn't like a, it was kind of like a, kind of like a horror mo moment for the actor, right? Or for the character, right? I mean, uh, Jaime, right? I mean, he, a fucking uh, ancient bug just jumped on his face and he just, you know, the transformation was kind of brutal. It wasn't like a, you know, kind of painful transformation. And I kind of like that. Kind of like, um, like a, a werewolf transformation or something like that. Or, you know, like a character transforming into some type of creature, you know, in sci-fi, right? Usually it is painful, so I, I like that. I think that was pretty cool. Um, I think there are a couple cool action scenes. Um, there is a strong influence from Injustice and Mortal Kombat. Uh, if you watch the film, you guys know what I'm talking about, which was pretty cool. But let's just go ahead and check out what we see here on Rotten Tomato. Now let's see. Let's see Rotten Tomato. What was the score for Rotten Tomato here? Uh, let's see. Let's go to Blue Beetle. Here we go. So Blue Beetle got a 92% um, audience score and a 76% critic score uh, with Tomato Meter 76, which is not that bad. I mean, those are pretty good scores, especially for the audience score. Um, that's actually pretty fair. Um, not, uh, I'm not, well, not fair. I would just say that was a pretty high score, right? That's, that's actually pretty good. Um, that's actually not bad at all. All right, so that does kind of show us for the most part, hey, some people did like it. Now, we go to IMDb. Uh, let's see. IMBD gave it a, well, a 6.8 out of 10. Let's just say, let's just round out to 7 out of 10. Um, which actually <laughs> was actually the score I gave at this film. Pretty much around the 6, 7, uh, range. And I don't want to cap, right? I just want to be honest that it's not a bad film. I mean, I think Blue Beetle's better than Shazam 2. <laughs> If that says it, if that means anything, if it's better than, um, you know, The Flash, if that means anything, uh, I think I enjoyed Blue Beetle more than Ant-Man 3 even, you know, but I don't know if that's saying much. I mean, this year's been really weak when it comes to superhero films, um, so, you know, there's just certain things about this film that I think are good, like, George Lopez, bro, <laughs> George Lopez is hilarious, <laughs> it's like, George Lopez, man. He's always been funny, I, you know, even, you know, I used to watch the stand-ups and stuff like that. I remember he had his own show. Just a funny guy, and, you know, he, he just, there's a lot of humor with him. And it felt really natural with him, of course, because he's a comedian, so that's his thing. Funny guy, man. Um, like I said, the main lead actor, great. I think he was cool. I guess the side characters would be kind of the family. Um, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't like what, like, the family was cool.
but I think they're a little bit too involved on certain scenes, and I'm, I'm trying not to spoil it too much, but I think they get too involved. I'll just say that, especially in the final ends of the movie. I'm like, why are they doing this? <laughs> it's like, and how the hell did they survive that? I was like, okay. Uh, another thing I didn't like was the main villain. Like, I just didn't like, mainly like the design. I don't think it was really the actor. I had really no problem with it, but just the design. I and mean, I don't know, I would have to look it up on, uh, you know, just Google it and just see like who the main villain is and what's his designs in the comic books. Because just what I saw I was like, okay, this looks really bad, dude. <laughs> like, like, this looks, could y'all have chosen a better enemy? Now, I understand it is the first movie. But if you want to really bring a first movie tie-in with a movie like this, I, I say you go all in with the villain. Like, I don't know if the budget didn't just didn't support it uh, to get a better villain or whatever, but no one's going to remember this villain. Just going to be honest. Not even going to cap, but uh, IMBD did give it a 6.8 out of 10. Uh, let's see if we can maybe see what happened here. So, 21% uh, uh, gave it a 10. Okay. Um... The majority vote was like around a seven, which I think this one pretty much deserves for the most part. Let's see some reviews. I wonder what people are saying. Really? A true masterpiece if it had come out 20 years ago? <laughs> Damn. Uh, uh, I, I think maybe this film could have been directly um, debuted on HBO Max. I think that could have been it. Maybe, you know, but... I mean, because according to Wikipedia, the budget was 104 million, which actually I thought it was 150 million, but who knows? But you know, you gotta if you count add-on marketing and advertising, that could have been 150 total. Um, so currently, it's at 43.4 million on uh, profit. So it still has a while to go to kind of get that even and uh, do well. But of course, I mean, the actors already got paid, so <laughs> I mean, I guess they're good. But, um, I, you know, I want this movie to do well, but I just don't know. Now, of course, there are articles saying, oh, it it, it, um, it beat out Barbie. I'm like, well, no shit. Barbie's been out a while ago. So, of course, eventually the uh, uh, the profit for uh, Barbie will go down eventually because people are, you know, on to the next movie. So, it upseating Barbie from the top of the box office, I just don't think that's a big deal. Now... Um, TNN says, you know, new superhero movie highlights um, Latinos in cinema. I'm okay with that. I, I honestly don't mind it. I think Blue Beetle's cool as hell. I remember him from Injustice, um, the Young Justice, Young Injustice show. I mean, I have no problem with it. I think he he, 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 had, he could have a future in DC uh, DCU if James Gums, you know, allows it, <laughs> you know. But um, let's see what other what else we got here. Um, so this is the uh, box office mojo site. Yep, 43 uh, million. International is 18 million, and domestic currently is 25 million. Uh, once again, um, and they are saying this is one of the lowest opening weekends for a DC movie ever. So apparently, Shazam 2 and Flash apparently did better than this, right? Uh, what else we got? We got okay performance, but a predictable, unoriginal story. Also, boring action and uninteresting villain. I will have to agree. I like I said, the villain. This I know. It's just like you're, you're not gonna remember this villain, dude. You're just not. <laughs> you're just not right. Um, obviously, the main actor here, uh, Zolu, uh, who does Jaime. This guy carries the film like he should have, right? I mean, like he should have. Now, if you're gonna do a sequel, I think they're gonna have to. Um, I mean, you're really gonna have to get a better villain, better action, um, have some more interesting side characters that are not the family, right? I know, you know, of course, every, um, most superhero movies are gonna have their family and stuff involved and stuff like that, but at a very smaller level, I think if you get some, you know, better characters from, directly from the story of the comic books, make those characters more interesting, let those guys have more, um, to do than the actual family. I just, that's just my opinion on that. Um, but yeah, I totally agree with this. Not that much, not that interesting of a villain. I agree with that. But I don't think this deserves a 3 out of 10. I, I, like I said, I think a 6 out of 10. I think a 6 out of 10 is pretty fair. But I want to know what your thoughts are on this, guys. What are your thoughts on the recent uh, release of Blue Beetle? Do you think uh, this movie was, <laughs> was it good? Was it bad? Did it suck? Uh, what's your rating out of 10? Let me know, guys. Like I said, I, I think a 7 out of 10 is pretty fair. I do think, you know, if it can break even and actually make some money, I'm cool with the sequel, but I don't know, like, 
I want that lead actor. I like. I, I think he does deserve another shot. Like, I don't really blame him for this. Um, but I just blame the timing and the um, commitment to this film. I just don't think. I just this just feels like a throwaway project, right? This feels like this could have been released a long time ago or on a streaming services or something like that. And my little critique for the main actor, I will say though. I believe this guy has the skills to act, but I think he needs to get into some different roles that put him in different situations, um, different type of characters. Like he, like it kind of feels like he's playing the same character in Cobra Kai, which we've seen before. Um, we need to see a different side of it, you know. Um, how? What's like? What is his range acting wise? Right? Is it just the protagonist and you know I'm the hero, which I think he does well. We've seen that in Cobra Kai and stuff like that. I want to see how far he can go in his acting career. I think he should try to do some projects where he's like maybe the bad guy, maybe an anti-hero or a character that, you know, you don't know if he's good or bad, something like that. I think it would be really interesting for that guy. He definitely adds some range um, to his uh, resume of uh, movies and TV shows. But I think he does have a future, of course. Um, but Blue Beetle as a character, I think he has a future. In DCEU, it's just, <laughs> it really just depends on if James Gunn wants to fuck it up or not. Um, I, you know, and for a hundred and four budget, I can see why this film limits a little bit of stuff, you know, in it. Now, remember, just because a film has a low budget doesn't mean it can't succeed. We've seen that with Joker. Joker, um, uh, with Phoenix, I mean, that was like 80 million, and that thing got up to 1 billion in the box office. So, um, uh, just the budget doesn't necessarily mean the movie's gonna be bad. You know, mainly is writing, character development, action, um, origin story. Because we've seen the origin story so many times. Okay, how is this origin story going to be different? And that's the, that's what you're going to have to tackle for the future superhero films in general in the years to come. But anyway, I don't want to be long-winded. Let me know your thoughts on Blue Beetle. Uh, have you seen it yet? Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe. Definitely does help with uh, these videos, man. And yeah, man, just watch out for some more videos and streams on the streaming channel. And I'll see you guys later. Let me know your thoughts on Blue Beetle.